in this compressed schedule every night. How, how do you uh, repeat that, I guess? I well, mean, that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah. And, and to me, that's going to be the test of our team tonight. Um, if you go back and look at the, the other five games, I thought as close of a game effort-wise as we got was the Nashville game opening night, where I think for 60 minutes we, we did most of the things right throughout the game. Um, you know, the other games, Detroit probably carried the play for the first half of the game, and then we didn't get it on our road trip. So we responded well. Uh, was it getting up for a, a really good Chicago team that had our motivation? But our motivation has to be every single night. This is what we have to do. This is our identity. This is who we are. Could you get a sense for it this morning at all? Uh, you, you know, I, it's, sometimes it's tough to read the team, and I think it's still early. Uh, but our, our morning skate, uh, energy was good out on the ice. We had a good power play meeting, uh, some some review things from the Chicago game that we showed. Um, so I, I sense that the mood is, is good. Uh, and I think the mood was good and the, the focus was good out on the ice. Tommy, you could concerned about things slipping away a little bit. I mean, four straight losses, you know, such a compressed schedule. I mean, is it, where are you at concern wise with you know, the, the, the losses? And, and, you know, everyone said all preseason you can't have a huge losing streak. It's, it's just, it's, nobody can in this schedule. I mean, are, you, are you starting to feel like things are slipping away? I, I wouldn't say slipping away. But this is a big game for us tonight. This is a huge game for us. Um, it's not an end all if, if you don't get the result you want, but this is a big game. And big game standings wise to get point. Um, but to me, it's a big game too of, of our team and where we're at and what direction are we going. Again, it was a good step forward uh, on Saturday night. And, you know, being a pro athlete, being in this business, the, the one thing you have to do is you have to prove yourself every night. You know, we we we, there, we we showed something on Saturday, but now we got to show it again tonight. Hey, Todd, that being said, you have a chance this week. You've got four games. Three of those four are going to be at home. Uh, how how important is it going to be to take advantage of home ice here over the next couple of weeks? It's important at home. Uh, you know, you want to get the points, uh, but I think it's about how we play in this building and in our identity and what we want to do and, and in front of our own fans. And the, the first two games here at home have been great. The great crowds. You know, there's obviously some Chicago fans here, but that, that creates a good environment. And our fans are, we're great, loud, and, and, and you, can, you can feed off their, their energy. Got a lot of teaching with the, with the power play. What's been the point of emphasis here uh, this morning? More flow to the power play. I, I find that we're going station to station, and it's, it's, it's just too slow. Uh, we get the puck and we stick handle once with it, slow it down, pass it, and then they stick handle once. And decisions have to be made quicker. Uh, we have to move our feet once we get the puck. Uh, we aren't having any problem getting in the zone. We we have zone time, and we're shooting the puck too. We're I think third in the league with attempted shots on the power play. Um, but we're 22nd in the league for second chances on the power play, which tells me a couple things. We aren't getting our shots on the net whether they're getting blocked or we're shooting them wide. So we have to do a better job getting pucks to the net maybe a little bit quicker so our forwards have opportunities. And I think some of that is just natural flow on the power play. You also had uh, uh, Colton Gillies tonight, big body uh, guy that can skate. Yeah, Colton, you know, he's been he's been good. And I'm, I'm talking about he's been a professional, you know, through this stretch. You know, everybody wants to get in, wants to play, and want to contribute and help the team. And, and when you aren't playing, it's, it, it's hard. And the one thing he's been good is he's been a, a professional. He comes in, he works. Uh, you know, when the, the rest of the team have, if they played the night before, they're off. He's down here working, uh, getting himself ready. So tonight we're going to put him in, as you said, big body, uh, great skater, great four checker. Hopefully you can get in, create some turnovers. And again, that energy from that line with uh, him, Mark Letestu, and Bull. In the same way that every win or loss is worth two or three games now because of the compressed schedule, is every game that Umby goes without scoring kind of two or three games for him without scoring, even though he's playing well? Is what? He, he, with going without scoring, does that is the impetus on him even more to score as opposed to going a few games without because well, we, every we game want, is worth? Yeah, we want everyone to score. I mean, RJ gets out in, in situations, and um, you know nobody wants to score more than him. Uh, you know the things he's he's doing. 
uh, to score. Uh, that's the key. And you know, he's at. The, you watch the, the our games. He's at the net where he needs to be. And, um, but it's it's really our whole team. I mean, we need to find ways to score. It's about getting to the net. It's about getting pucks to the net. Talk talk about your opposition tonight, Don. Well, right now I'm unsure who who's going to be in their lineup. Uh, you know, Yager and Roy have missed the last couple games, and we're unsure about Ben's status if he's going to be in or not. And I mean, those are three big names. Uh, obviously, if they're in the lineup, it it drastically changes their their lineup. But a, another team that I think from the back end will push you, push pucks up to their forwards, and then they want to attack and go. You know, they. They added uh, Whitney from from Phoenix, so they've and Roy and, and Yager. I mean, so they added a lot of skill. They took a you know they lost Ott in the trade with Buffalo, which lost a little bit of their grit and sandpaper. But they still have those guys in moral um, players like that. So it, it's it to me it's a good make good makeup as far as their team. And it's a, a great challenge again. There's no I'll tell you it's it's funny because every team you prepare for there's there's no easy nights in this league. No easy nights, you know. Each team, I think, uh, has a little bit of something, a little different edge to their game that you really have to take note of and, and be ready for. Is it remarkable to you, Todd, when you look at those two guys in particular, Yager and Whitney, and look at their age and what they're continually able to do in this league, I, offensively especially? I, you know, I think years ago it would would be surprising. Yeah. Um, but I think you're seeing it now in every sport. You're seeing athletes now that are playing longer. And I think it's how they take care of themselves, you know, off season, keep their bodies in tune, and and it allows them to do this, and allows them to have success. But it's it's in every sport, and we could go around and look at basketball and football, and you know, these guys that are playing, uh, you know, longevity in sports are a little bit different, but you know, guys that you know, characteristically will play longer, um, and I think it's really in their preparation, their focus, and how they take care of themselves. In, in the lines? Yeah. Well, I, I did switch the line combinations up a little bit. Um, just move some right wingers around. Obviously, we put Colton Gillies in. And again, we're just trying to find ways to to, to create offensively, more offensive chances. I, I like what we've done in Colorado and here against Chicago. I think we're coming up the ice better as a group. I think we're getting through the neutral zone a little bit better with, with some speed, which allows us to get in on the forecheck and have a good forecheck. Now, once we've gotten better in that area. Now it's in the offensive zone. It's about winning battles. It's about your one-on-one -on -one battle. And it's about getting pucks to the net. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, we, you know, we aren't going to play like the Chicago team we just saw. Um, you know, the Nashville Predators, are, that's their identity. You know, they have some skilled players, but they know how they're going to play. They make you work for everything, and pucks are going to go to the net. And it's going to be tough in that area of the ice. And, and to me, that, that has to be somewhat of our age identity and who we are. Todd, uh, you've had, oh, sorry. I uh, haven't decided that yet. You've had, but that's, may go that way. <laughs> <laughs> you've had, uh, your penalty kill has done very well, but that being said, you've taken some penalties at some very inopportune times in this first handful of games. You got a guy like Ray Whitney on the other side who does so well on the power play. Is there more um, of an emphasis tonight on staying out of the box? We, we again, this gets back into, you know, we've we've already watched their power play this morning, and you know, you watch. I, I know why coaches lose their hair. Or go gray. Or go gray, exactly. <laughs> and and it's watching tape. You know, you watch Chicago and their power play, and you know, previous to that, Colorado, Nashville, who was number one last year, um, and now you got a, a Dallas team coming in. And, and, you know, it doesn't matter who you're playing. You, you got to be really, we got to be really responsible and disciplined in that area. Uh, it means taking care of our sticks and using our legs. Um, um, it becomes really important as when you play as a group of five that you play a smart team game so you don't put yourself in position where you're taking unnecessary penalties.